With the release of Mario Kart 8 and many other racing titles to come on the Switch, Nintendo has made it even easier to get started racing quickly. Hello everybody, YoshiGuy64 here, and these are the Joy-Con steering wheels, but how good are they? Let's take a look. Joy-Con wheel features a design similar to that of the Wii wheel of old. Now, in this design, the controller will slip right in the front, as you can see here in this little uh, little area for the Joy-Con to go into. And on the back, it has two buttons for the SL and SR triggers, which for me makes a huge difference to the overall experience of playing games like Mario Kart 8. As if you're only using one Joy-Con, pressing the two triggers on the sides is really hard. Now, on the back, we also have the Nintendo Switch logo, as well as a checkered flag design, which, frankly, I think adds a nice aesthetic to the controller. So, to show you how this works, I'm going to go ahead and take one of my Joy-Con controllers uh, from my set of two and pop it into this Wii wheel here. So, you can see... Uh, I'm going to take off this one in particular. I like this one because the uh, analog stick is a little farther towards the left. That's a little bit more comfortable for me. Uh, but it also works with this one as well. So we're going to go ahead and pop this right in. You can see it goes straight in this little uh, cutout here. Then it just pops right in there. It takes a little fidgeting to really get it in place. Uh, give me a second. Here we go. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just push it in here. And you can see, uh, if you look very closely at the wheel, the minuses should line up if you're using the left controller. And the pluses should line up if you're using the right controller. And that's actually really cool. So you can see there's a, a little gap between the minus uh, on at least the controller that I'm using and all the way to the left side of the controller. And that actually means that it's going to make the controllers pretty much even to use. So if you've ever used one of the Joy-Cons before, you'll know that both of them are actually a little bit different. One's analog stick is more towards the middle, while the other is towards the left side of the controller, at least if you're using it in multiplayer mode. And on the Wii wheel, that actually makes it kind of even, so it pushes the uh, left Joy-Con over a little bit, and it pushes the right Joy-Con over a little bit, so that both of them pretty much give you the same experience, whether the Joy-Con is on the left or in the middle. So in actual use, the Joy-Con wheel features kind of the same benefit that the Wii wheel gave you a few years ago. So for new players who hadn't played games like Mario Kart before, it's a little bit of a learning curve to get used to all of the items that are being shot around in the game, and especially for people who may be used to an actual real driving experience, this uh, Wii wheel actually simulated that. So it became kind of a staple if I were to show the Wii to friends who may not have played it as much, things like that. And the Joy-Con wheel definitely helps with that as well. So it obviously provides some extra stability and comfort because the Joy-Cons are really small, especially when being used in multiplayer mode. But it's also nice to be able to introduce people and not have that learning curve where it might take them a couple hours to get used to a game. Now, personally, I am not the best at tilt controls, but I've been enjoying a lot of my time playing with the Joy-Con steering wheel. So I've been using it in games like Mario Kart 8, and paired with the smart steering and auto accelerate options, this is going to make it a lot easier for people to pick up the game. I've also been using it in games like Fast RMX, however, with how hectic that game is in the first place, I don't completely recommend it for there. I've also played Snipper Clips with it, which might sound a little bit weird because Snipper Clips is in no way a racing game, but the Joy-Con wheel actually comes in handy there. So I've mentioned before that the Joy-Cons are definitely very small, especially when you're playing in multiplayer mode uh, because you're only using one at a time. But I have definitely enjoyed playing Stipper Clips with the steering wheel as it gives me a better grip on the Joy-Con and allows me to perform actions a lot quicker because I can access the buttons a lot easier. So all in all, I am extremely happy with the Joy-Con wheels and it solves the problem of it being hard to play games especially like Mario Kart 8 with the Joy-Cons. And you can see uh, the box right here it actually comes in a set of two for $15. I happen to buy mine at GameStop. I'm sure there are other stores as well. And I highly recommend picking it up, especially if 
Uh, it doesn't make sense for you to buy a different set of Joy-Cons to use as a separate controller. I just, I recommend this. It saves you money. It's definitely a great option to play games like Mario Kart 8 and use tilt controls. Everything about it is just very nice aesthetically, and I've enjoyed a lot of my time playing with it. I highly recommend this for anybody who likes to play Mario Kart or Fast RMX or any type of racing game and wants to share it with other people as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely feel free to like and subscribe and bonus points to anybody who can guess what language my Nintendo Switch was in this entire time. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.